What's up guys, Triple C here. In my last video where I showed you guys how to set up your gun running bunker in your MOC, I told you that I'll show you the way how to get the discounted price on all the special vehicle missions and you will save several millions if you do this. I also did it and I'll show you guys how to do it. Just go in your MOC um, back in the command center and enter the touch screen and from there you'll get access to all the special vehicle missions. Now if you complete these you do get the discounted prices on all the special vehicle missions and in order to unlock these you have to do supply runs so even if you don't need any supplies just do supply runs anyways to unlock all these missions i think it's 14 supply runs in total you got to do to unlock them all so that's what i did i did it in one day i just did 14 supply runs got access to all these missions i completed them all in one day and now i have the discounted price on every single special vehicle now the first special vehicle mission is with the modified dune buggy. You have like uh, weapon attachments. Uh, definitely two players recommended. You will need one driver and one gunner. Um, as far as that goes, it's pretty straightforward. For the gunner, I'd recommend first person actually because it is easier to take your aim at your targets there. But pretty easy mission. As long as you're two people, you won't have a lot of trouble completing this one. Just follow instructions on screen. You always get different targets, and once you shoot them down, uh, you complete. You gotta deliver the dune buggy to a drop off point and then you're done so the next mission is for the half truck it's like it's like a flatbed truck actually with a gun turret on the back of it and you go in by boat at the docks and they recommend stealth for this one i don't actually know how the mission is when you do it with stealth because the guy that was playing with us was not on mic and he just blasted in there but anyways, you just go up to the location and we started taking out all the enemies. They do respawn in the end, but in the beginning you'll have a lot of resistance. So don't run to the trucks right away. Get some strategy in here, you know, just shoot down all the enemies. You need one gunner and one driver again. So at least take one friend with you in this mission alone. You'll probably not make it. And then once you're out there, you get a lot of resistance. You get like cars on your tail, you get choppers on your tail, and the choppers actually shoot with rockets. There's a lot of a lot of firepower directed against you. So um, take a good aim, take down all the choppers immediately because they will be shooting with rockets at you. As far as that goes, pretty straightforward also. Just as soon as you're in the trucks, you just gotta deliver them to a drop-off point, fight off all the enemies on your way there, and once you've done that, you've completed the mission. Next mission also really fun and very straightforward. You're basically at the airport in the um, gun turret which you can attach to in the gun turret trailer which you can attach to vehicles. And your mission will be to protect allies that are trying to make an escape from the airport. So you got like allied planes trying to take off, allied choppers trying to take off, and you always have to trail them and basically protect them from enemy fire. The enemies will engage you, but they will also engage your allies, which are NPCs. You you will have to protect those and uh, basically what I can recommend with this one of course you need two players on this one it's self-explanatory because you need one driver and one gunner but what I can recommend on this one also if you're the driver always try to stop your vehicle as much as possible because your gunner will have a much better aim if you're not moving so once you've protected all the targets um, deliver your turret back to the drop-off and you've completed this mission also now on the next one with the amphibious APC, I would recommend four players. You need one driver, one gunner um, who's protecting, and two divers. Actually right now what you're seeing, we got two divers underwater, the salvaging parts which you have to collect. And after they're back in the APC, you gotta deliver it all to a drop off again. You will get some heavy resistance, a lot of boats and a lot of choppers, but the gun on this uh, APC is so strong. It's always one shot, one kill. It's really fun to shoot with it also um, so you probably won't have a lot of problems on this one the hard part will be having the divers coordinating everything uh, you got to pick them up later again just the shooting part is probably the most fun on this one real easy stuff and uh, really fun next up you're in a mobile operations center and you're getting a I mean in this mission I think you get the most enemies in total there's jets after you there's choppers after you there's Merryweather jeeps after you it's just non-stop enemies coming at you um, you basically got to keep your speed up in the MOC otherwise the jets will get a lock on and then they'll shoot you down so always um, have a lot of speed with the MOC never stop and 
probably best on this one also to have at least three people. You want to have somebody manning the rear turret and also somebody manning the front turret because you will have enemies coming from all directions. So um, if you're the gunner, just keep on blasting. If you're the driver, just keep on driving, never stop. And with, like I said, with three people, you won't have a lot of trouble with this because these turrets are also just so strong. They just, they're devastating to the enemies. It's always one shot, one kill. So if you're a reasonably good aim, you shouldn't have a lot of problems with this mission. Just make sure that the driver doesn't get hung up anywhere because then you've basically lost. Just always keep moving. Otherwise the enemies will have a lock on and then the um, opponent jets, they will destroy you. In the next mission you'll have the modified Tampa, which actually has three different weapons. Um, you can have a minigun, um, you can have rockets, or you also can shoot mortars that will be um, shot from um, from the back so you can hit enemies which are following you. Now in the beginning when the mission starts out you get four targets which you'll have to eliminate four trucks. After that you'll have to drive down to the Merryweather docks where there's going to be real war going on basically. There's choppers and Merryweather everywhere. Uh, once you basically kill them all off, you'll get like a rival uh, Tampa, which you will have to follow and destroy. And once you destroy that guy, it's just the same again. Drive back to the drop-off, deliver your vehicle again, and then you basically completed the mission. Now, driving is a bit more tricky in this one because with your right analog stick, you actually... Um, you actually control the turret and that will also determine the direction you're facing. So it can be a bit confusing in the beginning, but once you got that down and you know how to switch the weapons quickly, you'll be good in this one. Now the next mission is where it gets really interesting because if you complete this one you actually get the discounted price on the rocket motorbike which has also got the wings which you can extend and that one is probably the most interesting vehicle for most players playing this game and I know also from my friends a lot of people just bought it immediately off the bat because they wanted to have it. Now if you complete this mission you'll actually save a whole million on buying the spike which is also what I said in the beginning just do all these missions beforehand it only took me one day to do all of this and um, now I got the discounted prices and it's just so much money that you're saving with one day of work basically so what you do in this mission you go up to the tunnel systems then you got to fight your way through um, the tunnels kill all the enemies at the end you pick up the bikes and I to be honest, I don't remember if there was still a target we had to take out, but you got like different weapons for the back. You got the rockets or you got the machine gun attached to it. And in the beginning, it's not quite clear how to really fly with it. Um, what you do, you boost like with the rocket Baltic by pressing L3, uh, wheelie, so you go upwards. But then what I didn't do in this mission, I'm doing it in the next mission because then I knew it. If you press X, you actually extend the wings of the bike. And that's when you can really glide and really fly with this bike. So never just go for the boost alone. But once you're airborne, press X and then you have the wings extended and basically can really fly with this baby. So yeah, really fun mission this one here. But the next one, best mission they added so far in my opinion. Again, with the rocket bike, you start off in a cargo plane. You got to get out the cargo plane and glide down to the docks. This is also the first time they actually tell you that you um, press X to extend the wings. You have some choppers on your way, which you can take out, and then just glide down to the docks where there will be a lot of resistance. But you do have the auto-aim on the rocket, so this one also shouldn't be such a problem. Really, really fun, though. A lot of choppers, a lot of Merryweather Jeeps you got to blow up. Just blow shit up. <laughs> go in there and then there's a mobile operations center standing near the ship which is your objective to kill but once you did that it'll tell you that it was just a decoy and that the real moc that you got to destroy that it's actually somewhere in the city so um, take your rocket bikes use anything to ramp off basically just fly across the streets take shortcuts um, extend the wings in the right time glide in the right time basically um, so you can always get quickly to where you want to go a uh, real real fun vehicle here uh, but anyways then you just find the moc you blow it up and in the end you got to deliver your bike to drop off again which is somewhere up where the desert is near sandy shores so you can go off-road with the bike take some hills and ledges to jump off and fly towards your drop-off location once you drop the bikes off you've also completed the final special vehicle mission and then you have the discounted prices on everything and I think it's probably about 5 million that you're saving here. 
as you can see right here now, these are all the discounted prices. For the APC, you actually only pay 2.325 million. For the Dune buggy, it's 850,000. Half truck, it's 1.6. For the oppressor, for the rocket bike, it's 2.6 million. The Tampa is 1.5. The anti aircraft trailer is 1.4. And then you still got the armor in the end with the. Um, with the juggernaut outfit which i heard uh, is kind of glitched right now because if you equip that you can't equip your other outfits so maybe wait a couple of days till rockstar hot patches that so yeah then you got your rocket bike and you get to do some real fun free mode stuff here here's another quick uh, recording with the editor how we're doing this jump from the cargo plane basically um so much fun and also some really great shots you can get and uh then i also have some bonus footage of us just jumping down Mount Chiliad because it's obviously the highest point which you can go from. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will upload some other guides and strategies for this DLC. How you can save a lot of money or make some additional money on this. Uh, what's the most profitable and what's the most effective way to do stuff. Because that's basically what I'm all about. Uh, like I do grind for the money but I always do it in the most effective way possible. Because I just hate spending too much time on something especially if it's just driving back and forth i will go into the payouts of the um gun running actually um because a lot of you guys might have seen that it does not that your stock does not fill up that quick like in the mc businesses for example um but i will also show you how you can get the supply missions done really quick and basically optimize your whole business in a really effective way that you make the most money in the least amount of time so stay tuned for that hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it uh i'll check you guys in the next video i'm out peace